Hello, sweetheart. I missed you. Well, hello, everybody. Smyrna Cowboy here. How are y'all doing? Today's a good day for the Smyrna Cowboy. That's right. I got Gandalf back. We went to uh, Lake Huron in Michigan. And uh, here's some videos and some pictures of that. Hello everybody, Smyrna Cowboy here. I am in Port Huron, Michigan. Mm -hmm. Doing a road trip with my buddy Mark. And so this is at his Aunt Kathy's house. I'll show you the view that I'm looking at right now. Yep, that's Lake Huron. Right at the curve of the mitt in Michigan. Well, I mean, and like over thinking, there is Canada. Like somewhere, probably somewhere so, between 12 and 1. And just, I mean, you don't so we're going to stay here for the night. With my buddy Mark talking to his wife. So I'm sitting and I just had a beer. So I'm going to relax and Aunt Kathy's going to fix us some supper. Since you're, since it's so kind of on this the is day one of my Michigan vacation this year. Jealous? I think so. Yeah, this All right. right, this is a Smyrna Cowboy here in Port Huron, Michigan. Wishing you and yours a good day. And until next time, adios. Hello everybody, Smyrna Cowboy here on day three of my Michigan vacation. Day three and ended. Well, if you follow me on Facebook, my buddy Mark, his bike broke down. I took the uh, back roads to the interstate. You see the, see the route right there. So I'm on the way to Indianapolis. So I uh, decided to go back home quickest route possible well I guess about 10 miles from that uh, from that loop around it clouds starting to cloud up and I checked the radar and yes it's I'm probably gonna be running into some rain so I pull over to gas station and uh, put my rain gear on so I start going into Indianapolis and it's not bad it's light rain and stuff so I'm saying to myself well this is this is good, I should have just left this stuff off. Well, when I hit the 465 loop, that's when it all broke loose. Had torrential rain, pea-sized hail, lightning strikes all over the place. And uh, I've never ridden in the storms this severe. And little did I know there was a tornado warning near where I was. I don't know if it ever touched down. It might have just been indicated by Doppler. And uh, when I get there, I get a call from uh, BC, make sure I got, a, got there okay. And uh, so I start to get settled in and everything. And so uh, I get a call back. I hadn't taken a shower yet. I got a call back and they were waiting outside. So I hustled up, took a shower and uh, doctored my foot up and everything and uh, went downstairs and he, uh, was generous enough to treat me to dinner at the Philadelphia uh, Philly cheese Philly steak and fries I think that's the name of the restaurant down there by the motel and I got to meet his lovely wife Janice so it was a very good very good experience there Had a good time. That was, that was fun, relaxing. Got to um, wind down a little bit from that harrowing ride in. So, uh, so I spend the night in Indy. So I get up and uh, 
Uh, he, instead of getting right back on 465, the GPS took me down Michigan Road or Avenue, whichever it was. And like I said, I'm at a leisurely pace now. So I go down there and uh, see the Indiana Fine Arts Museum and uh, stuff like that on the side, just taking in the sights as I'm cruising on down the road a little bit. Then I get back on and hit uh, 65 South. Well, I get on there and um, I'm out of Indianapolis and uh, I go down uh, 65 South. And there is a lot of construction between the Indianapolis and Louisville. So uh, uh, I'll keep on going down to uh, I-65 there. And so I call a, another Bergman rider of mine, a friend of mine, Paul, I'm sorry, uh, Randy and Paula McLean. They live near uh, the Indiana, Kentucky State line near Louisville around in that area and they were gracious enough to uh, meet me at Cracker Barrel with their two fine grandchildren and we had a brunch thing there because it was so late because there was a wreck on 65 South the tractor trailer went out of, uh, off the road and sort of that was backed up forever. July 4th happy birthday America Happy July 4th to all the, uh, of all my uh, American subscribers out there, in which I am one of them. Well, I'm not a subscriber, but I'm an American. So, so. Well, happy birthday, USA, and uh, give you an update on my daughter. She is, she's due the 6th, which is this coming, uh, no, it's, yeah, this coming Tuesday. I think Monday or Tuesday and uh, so she has 60% egressed dropped uh, she is three centimeters I mean three mi millimeters or centimeters I forget now I think it's centimeters dilated so it should be any time now that I will be a brand new pappy 